I'm on. I'm on. Oh. What's up, guys? Evergreen Fly Guy. Um, freaking groggy because I was up too late last night for a, a little trip this early. Uh, we're going to try some fly fishing and uh, hopefully guys see this one because of all of our other fly fishing attempts have not been so hot. I did post the one of uh, uh, buh, 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 up in the Cascades because it was just a really beautiful area but we didn't catch any fish. Um, I'm pretty confident about this time so we'll see how what happens um, on that. Yeah, thanks for watching. We are at the Flaming Geyser State Park at the Green River. And uh, we're gonna do a little fly fishing. I just lost my other fly I set out because I was being dumb. And picked. Last time I got a good hookup here, I was using a uh, little white fly with yellow wings so you could see it better. I don't remember the name of it. Uh, but that was what was good here last time. Uh, I don't know what'll be the ticket this time. Setting up my uh, Taylor's Array V2 on the old Moonshine Midnight Special. Uh, and I get Jacob set up with one uh, Lamp, Lamus, Lampus, Liquid, I think, something like that. I don't know what. It's my uh, other 5 weight, and uh, I'm using a 3 weight for uh, looking for wild rainbows would be the uh, choice here today. Uh, so my new Instagram and YouTube channel is called Smessered Outdoors. And uh, basically it's not gonna be just fishing related, although that is my primary passion. I'm gonna be doing some hunting videos hopefully and some ATV riding out in our local forest here in Washington State and just uh, whatever general outdoor activities we find ourselves doing. And I'll link his stuff in the, uh, in the link for this video if this turns out to be a decent video. Oh, Hopefully. yeah, we'll see. Actually, it looks like the water might be a little bit lower. That's not necessarily a bad thing for us today. Not necessarily a bad thing. Let's go over here and read some rules, make sure we're not doing anything illegal. Rafters and tubers, it doesn't apply to us. Body of water. I don't see anything that concerns me. Let's go look at the water. Somebody's grilling here, they left their charcoal. Low raid, low raid. Oof, God, that looks pretty. Okay, oh geez. I think it's actually higher than it was I thought it was lower because I looked at the rock over there, but I think we're actually higher than we were. Because I think I remember me being a walk out on a sandbar pretty far down that way.
just give it a good drift. Still real, real cold. Thought it'd be a little bit warmer. It was a little bit warmer last time. Okay. Did I just lose my fly? Yeah. Excellent start on my part. I just uh, completely lost my sexual tippet and meter. No bites yet. Uh, Jacob's using his uh, ultra lightweight. Seeing if he can't stir something up like that. Um, I don't want to get too close to him and be rude, but I think I want to try right out here, just straight out. See if I can rustle up some bites out of here. So, right now, that's good. Ooh, there was a bump. Ooh, I'm on. I'm on. Oh, he spit it. Oh, he spit it. You saw that, though. These guys, isn't that disappointing? But you know what? We know there's fish out here. So that was very few casts in, so that's pretty cool. Oh, I think my fly might need a little more gink to uh, get it going back after that bite. Yeah, I'm flying weird, so I'm gonna reel up my slack in and check my fly. I'd say this was at least eight inches, which I mean, it isn't the biggest trout ever, but it's pretty good for where we're at. You got a trout magnet on there or something? Oh, okay. We are going to Jacob out here, who has just landed his first trout. The first one, if I can get out here and get it in the net, of the whole thing to actually catch. Oh. <laughs> All right. Let's see if I can skillfully net him. Oh. Oh. There we go. Wow, look at that fish. Wow, look at that's a pretty fish. Wow. wow. Look at that fish. That is a great looking fish. Uh, you don't hold the net. I'll... All right, we're gonna get a release on this guy here. I think he's good. Nah, he just kicked back right out there. You see it? Yep. There he goes. Okay, guys. So today I'm using my Akuma SST uh, Kokanee model. It's a 7'6 light action rod. Uh, 4 to 10 pound weight for a pound test there. I uh, got it paired up with the Fluger President Reel and a 6 pound mono, I believe. 
Today I'm just casting out this Dick Knight Copper Spoon. Just like that. That's what's got me my three fish so far. I've been just doing a very slow cast and retrieve. Nothing too fancy. Uh, we try doing the fly. We got a couple bites, just no, uh, at least I haven't hooked up. Yeah, I, I hooked up and popped off on it. I was using barbless and didn't know. But uh, we're going to continue moving downstream and see what we can hook up on. Yeah, boy. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Okay guys, I'm moving down again. I have been king of the freaking misses today. I probably missed six trout right up there, unfortunately. Um, I don't know, I'm just not connected. Um, there's a bunch of, uh, I think it's stoneflies actually. I said Helgramite earlier, I think it's stoneflies actually. On the rocks through here. So, they quit taking dries before we gotta get out of here. Um, I think it would be a good safe switch. Match the hatch and move over to some stoneflies. Nymphs. Stonefly nymphs. But uh, yeah, I'm going to set you guys up again. Yeah, so Jacob just got on his first wild fish ever down here. Didn't do it on the fly, but is on a pretty cool spoon on the ultralight and it's a good looking fish good looking fish it, i want to say it's probably seven eight inches or more and yeah they're liking the dark colors on them or do you have another one <laughs> a baby one you could go ahead and pop him off if you want dang the spoon's killing it Ugh. Almost wish me. Makes me wish I had some streamers. I tell you what, guys, I'm gonna fish this dry fly a little bit more. If we don't pick up the action, I'll go get my, my ultra light and we'll see what we can do. You, that's it. I'm getting my ultralight. <laughs> that's three back to back. <laughs> oh, there's somebody creepy over there. I put down the fly rod. I did. I did. I know. Sad. Um, the top water bite was kind of off. And honestly, I just didn't have enough stuff to really uh, take it to them on the uh the underside so i went and got my ultralight and i think we're gonna fish back here for just a couple seconds and then move on down past we were at where are we oh, I, don't, I don't have it on i was just setting it there i'm just gonna i'm gonna run this a little bit through here and then we can move on on down just make sure everything's good on it Looking good. I had to cut. <laughs> this did have a treble on it, and we just cut the cut the hooks with some pliers back there because uh, this is a single hook artificial only. And now this rooster tail spinner is single hook artificial only now. Or they call it a little bit, little something a little different here than what we call it back home. But yeah, I mean we're just. We're just out here, having fun. Fish are being caught, and that's all that matters. Yeah, I still got it. Oh, he just spit it. Right there. <sighs> oh, it's my day today for that. Oh my gosh, it's my day today for that. Got a little closer than the last one. Are you gonna grab me? Yeah, I can get that. Man, that split shot just floated right through here. I don't know how good a split shot this is. <laughs> Corklin brand. 
Are you running it up a little bit or do you just have it right behind your lure? Uh, I'm running it up about, I don't know, it's probably only like six inches. I think that'd be enough right there? That's like eight. No, that's like eight, ten inches. Well, I rate Jacob's guide service a zero out of ten because Jacob and his magic netting powers was not here to get my fish that was at least three foot from me. Two or three foot. So now I have missed two fish getting them in the net and I'm blaming it on Jacob's guide service. Well, so you know how you caught the only fish last time? Oh uh, yeah and then the, the only jetty fish so far it's just payback. <laughs> I'm just getting mine. He's like, yeah, we, we let him get a big fish last time, this guy. I, I was looking on uh, fish brain and I was like, okay, it's, it's kind of on the smaller side. <laughs> I could, I, if I'd have hooked up with a bigger one, I would have lost him on that eight pound braid. Guys, I just hit the river jackpot on a pair of Oakleys. I don't know. They could use a cleaning. <laughs> yeah. Purple. I mean, Oakley, see? Purple, yeah, Oakley's are expensive, man. I think it's little uh, nose holder things gone, but. Yeah. Probably got something like that. I always find the weird stuff when I get fishing. Yeah, that's right. That's a bone. Pretty sure it's an animal bone, but it's a bone. There's the freaking wild trout slayer. We'll get an update from him. Net, 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 net it! Woo! Look at that, guys. I finally freaking got one. Oh. Okay, let's take a look at this guy. Not bad. Not as good as Jacob's big taunt from earlier, but not bad. Um, if you wouldn't mind holding this. Okay, let's see if I can reach down in here. Don't flip out on me, buddy. We'll get a good release on you. You can move the net back now. There he goes. Awesome job, man. I know, right? First one I've actually managed to get in the net. Right out there. Yeah, they say we do a few more. Uh... Yeah, right through here. Looks like a good area. All right, I'll be nice. Jacob's Guide Service. One out of ten. Yeah, it's real hard to tell in that current that I was on. I was like, I think I'm on. Yeah. Then I saw the spinner blade still going and I was like, well, maybe not. Maybe I just got a bunch of gunk on it. I did too, because it felt weird for a second. Well guys, we were trying to uh, sort out some messed up tackle and the uh, Canon camera took a dunk. And that's not good, so. Uh, it didn't want too, too much water. I uh, got it all off. It's in the bag for now. Honestly, uh, either way we go about it, we can't do anything, so there's no point in like trying to rush back to the truck. Uh, we're just kind of set with what's going on, and the GoPro battery is kind of low, so I probably won't be filming too much, many more long segments, just when a fish gets on or something. Um, yeah. Uh, from it wasn't having any issues with power or anything so it's turning on and off and you can see all the screens uh, more issue is is there's water around its mirrors because it's a DSLR LR and there's water in its lens luckily the lens is it's like a $50 lens it's not a huge not a huge huge deal but uh, hopefully those mirrors are fine you're like really big not supposed to touch those so 
I'll have to just get home later and sit down and pull everything out and get some Q-tips and see how to best clean it all and then just see how it looks. Um, worst case scenario is maybe I just have to get a new lens or uh, hopefully the camera's not fried. I do have a warranty, I think, that's still good. Um, so we'll just have to see. But that's if, if you're wondering why I'm only shooting short segments now, that's why. And yeah. 